for uh, longtime fans, I wonder if they were waiting to hear when Adam was going to drop that he has a girlfriend because he always has the dog. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not actually a player. I only have one girlfriend. I've seen every bad hairstyle since I was 15 because of this show. It's so bad. I'll watch an old, old episode and I'm just looking at my hair like, God dang it. And welcome to another episode of the FBE podcast. This is a podcast where we talk about all things FBE. So it's a very nerdy, if you love FBE a lot, podcast. Benny is your dungeon master. I'm your dungeon master for this journey through the podcast today. <laughs> John is uh, out of town. So you got Rafi and me, rare, rare, that we're both together Woo! on the podcast. I Good feel honored. Times. Yeah, me too. Good times. Uh, and we'll get to our guests in just a second. But if you don't know what this is, again, this is the nerdy FBE podcast. We talk about all things FBE. If you like the shows but don't really care about what happens behind it, you're probably not part of the 5%, as we call the 5% of the engaged viewers that watch this cot pie. This podcast? This podcast. Thank you, Rob. Shows like it. <laughs> correct, correct. So move on if you must, but if you stay, I guarantee it's going to be a fun hour and change of good times getting to know two amazing people that are our guests today. It's double A on the podcast today. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that's right. So there's a mind blow. Uh, for those that are not uh, watching and are just listening, uh, introduce yourself here, my friend. Uh, I'm Adam from now Adults React. I always want to say Teens React. Really? Right, me like, too. Even me still, too. I'm like, I, I, I'm on a show called Teens React. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm on Adults React. <laughs> and how old were you when you started? How old are you now? Uh, I was 15 when I started, and I'm 21 now. Mm. So almost six years. Incredible. And over to you. Who are you? I am Alex from Adults React and College Kids React. And... I have been on this show since I was 15 and I'm 21 now, so it's been like, what, six years for us? We're some OG kids right Yeah, now. we are. We've been on this, yeah. you know, t way too long. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> did you it's think like, I want to get off of this. Uh, still, they keep bringing me back. <laughs> well, did you think you would still be doing this when you were 15 coming on for whatever reasons you were coming on? And then you're like, oh, you know, when I'm in my early 20s, I expect to still be here. <laughs> the first episode, I thought you guys were going to hate me and I thought you weren't going to invite me back. So I was like, oh, no, they're never going to invite you me your, back. Uh, like, Legend of Zelda t-shirt. Oh, my God. And the purple hair. Don't remind me, please. <laughs> Dude, bring it back. Bring the purple hair back. That was the I OG might bring scene a, some stuff. pink hair back i don't know heck yeah she'll do it if you'll do it uh ooh. Ooh. challenge you know, i've been i've been, I've been uh, thinking about bleaching my hair oh i don't know how it'll look no please you know, don't adam i think it'd look awesome especially if just cut all my hair off the latest like uh i love when it just like the controversy of hair changes on react sometimes like i think seth was the last one to go through it where people just were just he like, shaved his head what did you do oh, boy. and he had because he had a bunch of hair like he had, he had like a, a man bun going on at one point yeah oh, no. oh my god yeah he but then he just then he fully it shaved, but he his shaved head. it but it also orange well then later yeah, yeah ray died in right. orange yeah. right so it just like that was all was that like comments. he chose to do that or he <laughs> that's what a lot of comments say <laughs> yeah right and then the problem would be that there'd be certain episodes shot so long ago that suddenly <laughs> seth would have hair again. Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like what the heck's happening uh tell us a little bit about yourselves just generally like we don't tend to have like just a little moment of like tell the people if they don't know about adam what what, what, what give a little bit uh a little taste. I, I play music that's that's my thing is I just I you give me an instrument I'll play it and I'll make a good song okay I'll make a song it doesn't have to be a good song but I'll make a song I love to play music that's you what I want to do you make a song on the podcast today um Adam and this is the podcast it's the jingle Woo! Wow. that was jingle. awesome okay. yeah that, was <laughs> that should be your intro jingle from now on <laughs> this is the podcast this is the podcast and Alex in in the five words <laughs> who are you I'm Alex and I am into cars, working on cars, and I have an anime. It's Tasha. It's called Car. And uh, yeah, I love anime. I'm a weeaboo, so you guys can make fun of me all you want. <laughs> we, the last couple of weeks in the podcast, we ended up talking a bit about anime because people want us to cover it so often, but yeah. we discussed the reality of how hard and sometimes impossible it actually is to cover yeah. it the way that React is as a format yeah. to truly cover it properly and not anger the fans of that anime. Yeah, 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 depending yeah. on the audience, it's just like it, it makes it not worth covering because of them not being happy. But uh, did you talk about that last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, we basically we were just like it was very nice that some people in the five percent comments were Start like understanding they were like hey it's okay we you should do it anyways and i know that people are going to be really angry but like i'll be happy if you did the episode but they know 
all how angry happy. it'll make everybody. <laughs> okay, so before we jump into all of these things, again, the podcast, uh, we like to talk about things that are going around the company to start and then yeah. jump into questions that were asked specifically for Adam and Alex and then some uh, industry stuff because this is the FBE podcast. Use the hashtag FBE podcast to get your questions answered in a future episode. It makes sense. It it's does. It's a good hashtag. <laughs> I, 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 like I think it's a very on the nose <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, it's a good really gets the point to, across. Yeah. Yeah. To the point. How well do you guys know each other? Because that's always a thing, uh, a myth from the fan base that think that best everyone... Friends, best friends, hang out friends, always. There's a React house and everyone hangs out all the time, but sometimes you don't even meet for years. So what is like the story of you guys even meeting and do you even remember? We met at the old... St- uh, the old uh, Fine Brothers lot thing where you studio. got studios. It was like yeah, this, but like in a different an, building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when, you met like when you were waiting to film one day. Yeah. Yeah. When, actually, she she had just finished filming, and I was just coming in, and I remember thinking that's my friend the scene chick because <laughs> I, I was like finally another person here who likes emo music hell yeah, yeah. Right. and yeah. I'm total and, like weeaboo into like colors and like well at the time you said at the time I was like do you like Asking Alexandria yeah. and you're like Ew, oh my god and no you're, that's what you said you're like no I listen to rap now and I was like <laughs> I was dumbfounded I was like what you I've ha- gone through so many different yeah. phases it's not even funny but but yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> co- going to the company news. Uh, so uh, Life is Strange yeah. has been being played through the game, uh, done in the new style as a 5% new all about. We told them about it before anybody else. First time that we didn't have multiple groups. It was just one group of three playing it all the way through because of it being a branching narrative and it being impossible to yeah. edit fast. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it's and been Ray, Michaela, and Seth playing this whole together, entire time making together. Making choices together. <laughs> Which is, Sometimes Seth doesn't really get to choose. Uh, they kind of <laughs> overpower him. Uh, but that's okay like when character when two girls need to kiss or anything there's just a big happy moment or like any type of flirting or anything they kind of overpower him he doesn't even get to take a moment to say something and he's just like like, and i guess we're going with that well there you go Uh, but it is uh, having its finale this week right rough yeah and uh and it's really exciting because of you know it was a full venture into doing something that we felt like the audience might not at all enjoy because it has been such an idea around what do totally different people and personalities and backgrounds Skill think about of different game, types yeah. of games and viral videos and etc so it's good to see that there's still an opportunity to do things when the company is in a place where it can't do everything that we all even want to do and having six different people play through that type of game that's so complicated uh so it's wrapping up. It's I, even for me right now. It's it's crazy because being so busy and now we put out. I think thanks to also the vlog being around. There's a good twenty videos a week that are coming That's out. Incredible. Wow. And it's like I'm on episode eight of Life is Strange. I'm not all the I'm way. I'm on episode seven. <laughs> right. I'm working my way and, through. I mean, each episode once it gets up there, like are like thirty five minutes a piece. So like I even talk with like Mark who edits it and everything. And uh, we're on the and, podcast. Mark and Derek were talking yeah, about right. this on the podcast. And so yeah. literally being having to be like, all right, you know, I, I sit down and. I wait for like a few episodes to come out and I watch it like it's a feature film and I watch a few episodes, but you have to That's like smart. treat it like that where I wait and I binge it and I wait and I binge it. So I've still got my weight. Like, so a lot of the fans are ahead of me and I'm not looking cause I don't want things spoiled for me right now. And I want to see what happens and what do they choose? Um, but I can't wait to kind of catch up and, and watch the rest. Um, but yeah, and we'll have after that, uh, we have portal coming out as Ooh. the next, um, yeah, which Let's we did. Play. We did one episode of it that was right. very popular forever, and huge requests about let's do the rest of the game and yeah. needing to try to find some quicker games to intersperse while we're filming the next more right. complicated game is why I think the, the team went yeah. with Portal. And then the one that's more complicated that we're doing uh, right after that that is in editing already. You maybe know better. Than no, that. it hasn't even started oh, yeah. filming yet. It's, it's about uh, un- to start filming. It's Undertale. And that has been something that's been asked for forever. And it's really exciting that I know that a lot of people here that work here are excited to finally play that because it's been a, like a staff favorite, but it's going to be great. And that one will be back. Both of those are in the six people playing ah, style, okay. not the three people playing style. So we might then end up inside of going, okay, are we going to play The Walking Dead? Or are we going to play? You've probably played through all of that, right? The Walking Dead? Yeah. I've only played through actually one season oh, of so it. It's so good, oh, though. Okay. I've gone farther than you, and I, where do I have time? Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, man. Okay, then. It's uh, when you're not but sleeping. Yeah. But <laughs> the, I've, I've yeah, been anything games. from The Walking Dead or Until Dawn, we'll figure out what maybe is the next thing that we play through the rest of it. Until Dawn, that's the one where it's like the uh, the one that like reads you psychologically, right? Like, oh, yeah, they, the you have game? to go through the I want to play that test. so bad. Just because. Aren't you, isn't this always the problem with you of like, 
uh, with playing games. Well, you come from pretty far. Get, you, right. You're, tra- so you're tough to you're get you to come and play specific. the full games. Yeah, it's it's tough, but I like. I will make the commitment. Oh, just well, for good to know you heard right. it here. So if we do until dawn, <laughs> you'll make the commitment to I, come a lot to film. <laughs> hell yeah, I will. That'd be so much fun. I've been I've been meaning to play that game for such a long time because gotcha. I I recently got into like survival horror games. Mm-hmm. Like I I'm just about to beat Resident Evil Seven terrifying game i just pre-ordered i'll never play it I, I scare to. way too easily do you like being scared yeah i love being scared i, I absolutely it. love it i played this really? game i can't do it with it alex you, you have to i played this game with headphones like horror on. nights or oh, you something. might pee your pants but that's okay you know? <laughs> that's, that's it's all, like, how many times i've honestly peed my pants like four times already Listen, like come on, <laughs> come on <Betty. laughs> you're gonna have to beat her score <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying that you've been, that but but yeah, I I I've, I I just played that game and I just pre-ordered uh, um, the Evil, Evil Within. Within. Yeah. How do you know that? Well, I know what games are coming out oh. all the time, and you said at the <laughs> same time I did. I was like, <laughs> whoa, mind readers. But you, so you played the first one? Uh-uh. Cause we only, oh, okay. I've not played the first one, but I asked the GameStop lady. She was like. Do you need it? I was like, not? do I need to play the first one? She's like, no. Nah. And I was like, perfect. I don't, yeah. I so don't casual. Because we did one episode, we did an episode of, that. of that. Yeah, man, it was one of the, the adults played it before you guys were adults. Uh, the adults <laughs> played it, and that first episode was so good. And it's just like, ugh, like you just want everything to be a let's play. I know. Every I know. It's game. impossible. The bandwidth. The bandwidth. The bandwidth. Uh, jumping into another one was like today was our first uh, doggy. Well, we had a puppy day. And we had one doggy day for like staff members to bring in their dogs. But now every Monday, now every we're Monday allowing, is yeah. FBE Dog Day. That's See, official. I, I saw that on your social media today. Yeah. And I was wondering how the the mess that could be potentially there. Look, this is why it took a while <laughs> for us to like have an official yes, this is allowed dog day because there's a lot and to we're, think we're about. We're easing our way into it of like, can we have more or is this like, okay, what's a week is enough? But you we're trying to have a thing of like, we all like dogs and that oh my God, and yes. it to allow at least a day of flexibility for the the staff to maybe they can't to have difficulty taking care of their dog on a certain day of the week so at least on mondays they can plan for it and oh, i'll tell you like cool. whatever even be with us having like we have our monday meetings uh like company meetings man did it it just like it changes the whole vibe of the everything. whole vibe of the whole like day is like dogs are here like, everyone whoa. gets so happy yeah, yeah everyone gets so, so happy that dogs that's like yeah. the best thing they were just running around there were so many pictures being sent on slack which is the uh the chat service Messaging that we use between app, each between other companies company. right it's yeah like a company thing so like just people were just putting up well a there's bunch of their being like hey i have to go to this meeting can someone t- k- take care of the dog like sure just drop it off to me and then right. they would send pictures to the dog owner of like what they're doing with the dog while they're in the <laughs> meeting that's so cool so, so even if there's a bunch of peeing you know whether it's alex being scared from <laughs> playing a horror game or a dog or them you know shitting whatever it's like it's okay. Like it's we'll, worth it. We'll clean it up. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. I think just that's one part of the rules, though. I think it did say you have to clean up after your dog. Yeah. You that, just that's need, a like, reasonable pot, like, rule. Like the potty pad things. But see, that would make Cover the dog the entire floor. Ideally, they would just go outside, not just leave the pads down. But then you have to get up Don't and take the dog outside. And... I'd be afraid of the dog getting used to that and always expecting the pads and. Oh, and then just know. poos on the floor and you're. Yeah, it's probably yeah, outside, not a good time. Do either of you have dogs? I have three cats. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm that weird cat lady. <laughs> and they're like your cats? They are my cats. What are their names? My boyfriend thinks that one of them is his, but it's not. It's mine. Oof. What are their names? It's Mason, Flynn, and Luna. I want to name them Japanese names, but my parents said no. So <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Adam, any pets? Uh, I'm in the process of living or moving into my girlfriend's house. So I have like two sets of animals. At, at my parents' house, I have two cats. Uh, and their names are Starfire and Raven, named after... Teen Titans, yeah, uh, which is pretty pretty rad. And then at my girlfriend's apartment, she has a cat named Norman, and then we also have a dog named Nell. So yeah, cute. Yes, for for uh, longtime fans, I wonder if they were waiting to hear when Adam was going to drop that he has a girlfriend because he always has the dog. <laughs> yeah, sorry to break it to you, I'm not actually a player. I only have one girlfriend. I love that in the the reaction as we call it, where you're reacting to your first episode and you're like. <laughs> Talking about what you went through in life because of the play a graphic. <laughs> it's so it, it it's incredible. Like so many people are just like, You're playa. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Like it happened once or three times maybe, but but I'm not actually a playa. And like when, when we did when you guys posted the picture of me today. Oh right. Um, yeah. To, to to not Betty and I, like but but well the, the, the social FB, team. Yeah. yeah, the social team posted a picture of me today. I, I like scrolled through the comments just to see like just get like in a, in the right headspace of answering questions and i saw so many things of like how many girlfriends do you have 
are you actually a player? Well, there player? you go. One. So if it's you don't one. know, for more recent viewers, this is from Teens React number one that Adam was yeah, in. Yeah, the very first. And in it, he mentioned girlfriends, uh, plural by accident, I think. <laughs> it was an accident. But it turned into us using this graphic that we created new. Oh, yeah. That you was used twice I in remember, that episode. I remember cutting out all those little things and having oh. them fly it over you. And, and the episode like, ended yeah, even with... When, when you guys... When, when, okay, when I watched the episode and that came on, I literally fell off my chair. I was like, are you kidding me? What just happened? It was ridiculous. Fine brothers define who you are now. Yeah, right? That you guys have you a set a there. name for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about before we get to the questions is on the TV side of things. So I don't know if we've talked about this project or not. And it's one of these things that I always hate when I see people on podcasts or on Twitter really saying, saying these saying things. Anything. I can't really tell you what it is, it's guys. True. But here's where we are because yeah. we contractually can't tell you what it is. <laughs> uh, but uh, so this is a hour long scripted show that we've been working on with a a cable television network for over a year. TV is very slow. Yeah, and but it is the first project we've ever sold that was an hour-long dramedy scripted. Yeah, it's the yeah. first thing scripted we've actually sold into linear television. We've done scripted series like on YouTube Red, but right. never something in linear TV. But it, but it may never see the light of day because it's taken over a year to get to this point. And but we had a big meeting because we brought on a writer. She's great to uh, like write this out with us. And. Uh, we were getting it all set to go back, even though they already bought it. They were like the process. It, the process was a little backwards for this project because usually you come in with everything already fleshed out, and when they buy something, they already know exactly what it is and the general idea. But with this was a more general meeting, and we were throwing a bunch of different ideas out just to see the types of things this network liked. And then they in the room said, "We're buying this," even though it was an idea that had. Like, was, great. Was Why like, doesn't this happen all the time? It was like a sentence, and we we're like, "I don't know what the show really is." <laughs> just had a general idea for a yeah. show so it took us all this time and then we went in to pitch the show and then in the room again they were like we love this we are going to move forward to have the writer we brought on actually write the script yeah so now you actually write the script and then maybe they'll year. make it that must have been so scary for you guys you're just throwing out ideas and like we want that and you're like I, I don't know what that is yet though <laughs> but you see you never admit that yeah you right. say, you're like, oh, yeah, here's all <laughs> that's I'm one really... of our babies yeah. and that's something we've been holding on I to will for say, long. in a pitch room i am very good at bsing yeah <laughs> and so you gotta be you get to a point it and could I think, be just and, a line that and he, i think that everybody we does that he can then all of a sudden ask a question and i'll give you an answer out of nowhere and it's amazing so it works out well most of the time but i feel like that's everybody like that's that. what and those characters have to become something and then you're like oh well if that's what we didn't really want then it's just oh, what well, i now said it. It. Yeah. i better yeah. remember what i said even though i don't remember now but always you record go your back. meetings yeah <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the right questions. Right now you're recording. Uh, over, no. uh, across all the networks, I think there was a bunch of questions asked from a whole bunch of different places. Uh, and uh, Alex joined us last minute today, so thank you for that. Yeah, you were course. here for something else. All right, so before we get into the questions, I like to ask some questions of my own. Uh, so, Adam, uh, I'm curious, what did you think? Because you, you came from a time period of LA Casting, uh, which is a <laughs> yeah. casting website that we've talked oh, about a lot man. in the very beginning. How do you find people before you're established? You're in LA, you go to like a place where people who haven't really done much are trying to get get work, and then we were specifically looking for people that had like no credits because we were looking for just regular people. Right. So I was so about you, to say like, God, are there some videos we could find of you acting? But I don't think there really was anything. Even the back only then. thing that I've ever done as far as like a scripted thing was like a handful of UCSD student films. Oh. Yeah, and that's how those things kind of go. So you were picked off of a headshot, which is so crazy how that works. But can you <laughs> walk judging us a book, judging a book by its cover? Like, so do you have memories? Was this your mom that applied you to it, or were you aware of what Kids React was? Or no, like, I had no idea about anything. In fact. In fact, my freshman year of high school, because I, I came into it my my sophomore yeah. year, halfway through my sophomore year. So my like walking all the way back, my mom just one day hit me up. She's like, "Do you wanna um, do you wanna start acting?" And I was like, "Sure." I don't know how we're gonna do that, but sure. And so we started answering casting calls, and I started going on on auditions. And some of them were just incredibly cringy. Like there's one I remember we, I was trying to eat cereal, but I couldn't remember my lines. But <laughs> it, was, it was terrible. But then you guys called me, and and my initial thought I'd never I I, I knew I'd known that YouTubers were a big thing, but I didn't know how big they were because I never yeah. really watched YouTube videos. I watched like top 10 scariest moments you know that's, that was my youtube <laughs> right, right. career um watch so, mojo yeah exactly <laughs> that so, was even a thing 2011 youtube it was very not, different there was definitely a section of younger people that were on youtube but not like it is today not, not when people were into youtube people were more place, in the no. minority yeah. there was no such thing as famous people on youtube no like maybe except for boxy boxy or that went to such Nigga a huge yeah. stuff like that stuff yeah. like stuff like that's that that's all i remember from like but even then they weren't famous they were just those kids on youtube you know yeah. Yeah. so then 
when I when I came into film, n- not all was like, it's just YouTube. It's not going to be anything big. Might as well take get a day off of school for it. You know? And it, what, we filmed in his like their apartment. We, yeah, we literally. So I roll up and I th- I was expecting a studio. <laughs> yeah, I was, and it was so creeped out. I was so creeped you know? out. And then and then like my mom and we go we go in and it's literally an apartment and like there's like some like cliff bars on on this little yeah, table really and I was like creepy. this is weird. You know, <laughs> my and dad then, took me. And too. then we go in and 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 they're like, all right, your mom's gonna stay here and you're gonna come into the bedroom. <laughs> I was like, uh, what the heck is this? We need reactions. So here's the question then, Adam. Once you were in there with us, was was it cool or were you no, still weird out the whole time? It was so awesome. <laughs> like, it was way? so cool. Like I walk in, I see the huge box lights and the nice camera and the two dudes are standing there and I was like, this is legit. Aww. And so like, I, you can hear it in my voice how nervous I am. I'm it's like, true. I have girlfriends. <laughs> you know? Your voice sounds totally different in that first episode. It's, it's like, and you were I think so you're quiet. Shaking, you were like, I think you I have a shaking going about this the whole loud. time. I, I've oh, never yeah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I've never acted before. I've never been in front of a camera. Well, yeah, I was being myself, but being in front of a camera is so different, you know? And like, so yeah, I definitely was totally creeped out because it was just you guys. (laughs) And my dad had to like stay in the other room. And I was like super scene kid that was like, meh, I don't know what to say. Like, (laughs) so yeah, it was, but it was super fun. And I remember reacting to like the, um, the, the, the Facebook, the dad shoots the laptop. Yeah. 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 That, that was so long Back ago. Back when teens were using Facebook. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we, what a concept. My fan page doesn't even have a Facebook page. <laughs> right, hiding it from their parents. Yeah. So Adam, from your perspective, and we've talked about this over the years, but from your perspective to share with the 5%, what's your experience and your perspective of seeing the growth of FBE from when you were walking into our apartment and there's just me and Rafi in there hanging out to what it has become from your perspective it's, being there from the first episode of Teens React? It's, it's, it's really humbling almost, mm. you know? Because we started um, with only you, like you two, and then a handful of teens and kids in your apartment yeah. with a camera, and you're just doing this like uh, amateur style. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now looking at it, we have equipment, we have staff, we have a building, we have all this stuff that is like professional grade, and we are a, a, a full production studio now. And it's it's awesome just to see how far we've come. And the cool things that you get, like I, I overhear some of your guys' conversations sometimes and like the ideas that you guys have. And I'm like, that's so cool. <laughs> like, I'm so excited for the future of this company and just to stick with it in the long run because it, we've come from so like, like Prometheus says, like uh, uh, big things have small beginnings. It's like, yeah. that's glorious because it's exactly what this company was, you know, such a small and humble beginning to just this huge company and your guys' livelihood. And it's like, I get to be a part of this. It's so cool. I freaking love it. Yeah. Choking me up, man. Yeah. Like, like, um, I'm like holding it back because that's really, that's so sweet of just being like, um, you know, of you being a part of it in this way that is, it's like, we the way that we all think about it is that like we're all a part of this thing and and even from an ancillary but you are a part of it and we're family but you know all these things that we hope to continue to grow into it has been all a part of the conversation even of what can this all become mm. and i think we're still totally on that journey and it's kind of crazy that it's been when you guys say it's been six years it's kind of well nuts. today we're yeah. filming today and today is the seventh year anniversary of kids react right. yeah that's yeah. what i was told so it all started today seven years so ago those kinds of filming. things are just like but it also is just beginning and like yeah. it still feels that and way like, look how far you've come yeah. Yeah. you're like the ninth most subscribed youtube channel you have like if you get rid of the vivo channels and all of the youtube <laughs> channels you gotta but but like you guys have so many freaking subscribers yeah. and and it's only the beginning but it only happened yeah. seven years ago that's yeah. such a small amount of time like i was in high school when you guys started and i was j- i just graduated i just finished high school and we're going like oh my god it's it's i, I remember you guys doing your like lost videos with like the little action figures yeah. and that's where like <laughs> that's the first things i watched from you guys and then nice. so you, you were familiar with you find yeah. it on the youtube homepage by any chance yeah i was on the youtube homepage yeah. the old youtube homepage. Of, like so that's that's what's amazing is just how early you were yeah of seeing the content yeah. is that like that was God, how many subscribers would we have had back then? We, that got us to 8,000 subscribers right. was being on the homepage. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah, that's so you crazy. Walk, you so, because, and we had we the 4, moment. 4,000 subscribers in 24 hours and it was and like, it, was nuts. it changed everything. It was <laughs> nuts and like all of a sudden it actually, because we were really good at marketing and so we got a lot of views off of YouTube because we knew how to get the content to be featured on a Never lot of websites. Never got subscribers because it was being viewed not right. on YouTube. But nobody was watching on YouTube so when YouTube finally put it on the homepage it was like, we got like 4,000 subscribers what and was then it being you actually on? saw it there. Yeah. Uh, different websites like 
like there was back then there was definitely a, a lot more websites where people would go to the website to find funny videos not go to YouTube to search for them and there also wasn't Twitter and Facebook and everything where all your friends were showing you videos so right. you had this totally different system of how people went how do you find videos you went to these websites mm. Damn, that's yeah, like yeah. a lot has changed. There's still some of them. Like, there's a lot of music blogs and stuff that are still pretty popular. But a lot, or, back- or you could say uh, like uh, like Reddit, but like oh, in right. the sense Before of like Reddit, okay, yeah. but it wasn't like community based. It was that e bombs world or college humor or all these places would you put know what up I remember content. Is stupid videos. We were on stupid yeah. videos all the time. We had a great yeah. relationship with them. They actually put a bunch of our content onto their. They had oh, it was cable. I don't even know. It the was cable a Comcast, Comcast. OTT channel, yeah. right? They had like a on demand, and they put up a bunch of our sketches on there. Oh, that's so rad! All right, but we're yeah. gonna move on. We're Stupid gonna move on, Alex. Yes. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so remind me, though. I think I know. You got on the show because of a teacher. Yes, right. I was in sophomore year of high school, and my teacher, her son, was on the Kids Everett. React. Yeah, Everett. Mm-hmm. He was on Kids React, and my teacher was just like, oh, like. In class, she would like read her emails. So she read her emails and she was like, oh, like I just got an email from the Fine Brothers. Like they want new teens to be a part of their new show called Teens React. And at the time I knew who you guys were and I wanted to do it. And I was like, hell yeah, like sign me up. So she took a picture of me, sent it to you guys. And then the next day she was like, they want you. Email them, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, here I am. And I went Very to your apartment. Different That's so yeah. different. Yeah. Yes. I was you never of, into yeah, acting. You were one of the first if not the first teen to not to come, come from the system, more yeah. like from the regular life system, yeah. uh, which we were always wanting to work towards, but it took us a while. And now it's like across the board, like as we've talked about all the time, it's fully, the f- anyone on the show in the last few years all joined from Tori on. We're it's, a fan. it's always Labib and Tori. Labib and Tori, yeah. <laughs> Labib and Tori on. We're normal people, fans. So from the audience. They were normals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're normies. Oh. You, are you still in touch with her at all? With who? With uh, Everett's mom. <laughs> Uh, no, she like last time I saw her here, she like criticized my tattoos, and I never, oh. I never talked to her. But she's after your that. teacher. I mean, uh, true. She's like, oh, she tried. To, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Miss Coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you also because you brought Alex into our life. Yes, so, thank hey, you. Uh, an effort. He's still on the show, and I think he's now in college, which is so oh my insane. god! I remember <laughs> when he was a child. That's so crazy. I, I, I know he was. He was. <laughs> Some of the kids are now. In call, yeah. Everett was eleven when he started, and now what? he's in college. Yeah, that the, blows my mind. Well, Megan and Shannon, the the twins, yeah. they're seniors in high school. <laughs> they started when they were so young too. This is ridiculous. I know, oh my I know, goodness! I, know. I, know. I feel right. so old. Yeah, we're I know. getting Welcome older. Welcome to our life. I imagine how we feel because we're so much older than you. True. <laughs> Just whatever. Our children will take over, and we'll be dead, and, and they'll guys, be interviewing you guys. And you guys have seen us like you've seen us grow up from like being young teenagers to like young adults now i know so. and, it's, and that's the thing too that i definitely is a thing that i'm I'm very happy for in the terms of like the the producers and the pas that now are getting that experience with all very you guys jealous room. i'm jealous of it yes <laughs> but they also get to have that unique feeling too yeah. especially with newer reactors that i barely know now where there is always going to be and it's just the way that it is just like those producers are going to have a bond that i can now never have there's a bond that yeah. I had, even like when, and we're gonna talk about it in a second, like when you, you haven't been on in a while, that I came running up to come and yeah. see you because it's like there's a connection that we specifically have to a lot of you yeah. that we fully have done this for. And there's an element of, uh, how do I sign the birthday card this year to make sure you know how proud of you I am? Like, cause I have that, that <laughs> sibling <laughs> feeling that I yeah, have for all of you. Yeah, it's like we're family. It's honestly sibling. like family. Like, I, I've never I think experienced guys- that. I think you uncles. guys more like, yeah, like cool uncles. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like uncle, sibling, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not your brothers, but uncles. Yeah, but that's it's an uncle brother. <laughs> an uncle brother, that's fine. Because there's definitely <laughs> you got over weird the years, family. <laughs> yeah. Over the years, uh, especially the in the, I would say from you guys, like 15 to 17, it's a very interesting time in everyone's mm-hmm. life. We would definitely find out things from you guys about your life that you probably weren't sharing with other people. Yeah. Uh, and like, it was just that vibe of like, you know, not on camera, like, yeah, we're we ended up becoming this way of like, oh, like they're talking to us. Like I didn't expect it or purposely try for well, it, but it, it naturally yeah, happened where you, you share happened, things happening yeah. in your life and want our perspective as like a friend slash kind of family-ish member that isn't your parent. Yeah. That we'd, I Sometimes remember Sometimes it would be before or after that we would have those moments and we would dive in and understand like what was going on in your life. And it was, yeah. it was you were going through a lot of stuff in yeah. your life. Oh, and yeah. it was really trying to be there for you even in those like 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. You had stuff that would happen like on camera that were like interesting perspective things that you would go through like live <laughs> to the world oh, in no. a way. I'm well, your, to... opinion, your, your mind would get blown like it is, has gotten blown here about how old everybody is. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, While I would here. ask you a question, you would realize, you're like, oh! Well, 
<laughs> you still, I forget the last time it happened, but you were just like, why do you guys do this to me? <laughs> yeah. like, you know, ah. I, remember, I remember doing that. I remember, I remember one, I don't remember what, what the context was, but I remember grabbing the, like the back of my head, just going, why do you do You're this? Right, yeah. And that's like, like what the show flow. is. That's we like iconic make you think. Adam. Yeah. Just iconic. <laughs> All right, so this was a question I was going to ask Alex, but then Nikki on Twitter asked it too. Alex, why do you take long breaks before coming back to react? <laughs> Honestly, I'm super busy with work and school. I'm kind of like trying and getting my adult life on track. So it just depends. Like my school schedule is different and I don't always have time when you're, you guys are shooting. So it's just like really hard for me to like say, oh yeah, I'm available. But then if you guys call me in, I'm not available at that time. So Right now, like I'm, my school schedule is kind of, I'm off early, so like I'm get to come in more, and so it's just really good now that I'm, I'm really happy to be back, honestly. As, as are we, and uh, that's the mm. reminder too of just how we're not lying. These aren't actors, these aren't fake people. People have lives, people have yeah. lives <laughs> and they can't always come on the show. And sometimes I think it was over a year since you were able to actually film because you yeah. were too busy. Yeah, it's probably since December, maybe. Yeah. Or February. I'm not sure, but definitely. Over six months, yeah. Yeah, which is That's crazy. so weird. I know, it, it's almost like the difference of just, it, and even when uh, a lot of the reactors have ended up having channels and stuff like that, that you see that some of them are doing it in the way that just very normal humans use channels on YouTube or Twitter or anything, but some are from either from being actors early on and they're kind of like thinking about now there's an outlet there that they were always thinking about or that they've realized that they want to be a part of this whole system and maybe there's a career in that, but just as many... It, no, more. More than half. There's over not. 150 reactors, and I yeah. want to say maybe 35 have active channels. Active channels. Yeah. Right, that like actually do that. Well, like you'll get active here and there. <laughs> you have your bathtub Adam. songs. Yeah, here and there. Um, <laughs> but rad. It's, and that's kind of the thing even of the idea of the continuation of what FBE becomes is that to whatever degree we see the potential of having that of where... You know, now that like Tom is on board and we have various people working here, that there are these opportunities that whether it might be working for us or it might be because you're also wanting to have your channel and how do we work on those types of things together? We still don't know yet, but we're just all actively trying to figure out like how does this family and how does this whole idea of what we're all doing together? If you want it, there's opportunities for it in these regards. And if not, then you can still just come on once a year if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Once every five years, come on back. Like, you know, <laughs> it's all been happening lately. Coming because... out to Disneyland with your family when you're like 40. <laughs> Great, come on the show. I believe in the same type of thing, because recently Jake, who was one of the oh, original yes. kids from Kids React on Jake the very first back. episode, but he moved away. Jake? Uh, he moved away for years and he was gone. The last up. time you saw him, maybe he was 13 on Kids React. He's 18 now. He's gone oh, for like for almost five gone. years. If I saw From a picture. the original. And, yeah, if uh, I saw and, a picture. He's, and he's now back as well. And that's where that's Because currently people, it was Dylan that was still around from the very first. Yeah, very first. He's Jake the longest continuous back. reactor is Dylan. Uh, but uh, Jake had that time period. But there's a handful of people that were gone for periods of time for various reasons. Marley was gone for a while and is back. Chriselle yeah. was gone for a while. Now she's back. So we always like to keep in touch and try to yeah. bring folks back. That's the yeah. coolest thing about this channel. I always try to like email you guys when I'm available too, you know, like I think people also do that is like email you their availability. Like my boyfriend recommended that I like tell you guys I'm available yeah. now, you know, because like, that, it definitely becomes a thing from what I hear through the casting process and the people that do that now of like, oh, Alex is not available on this day. Yeah, yeah, and if they don't know. And then also there's people that are off in college in different states and yeah. different countries even right now. And if, if they don't let us know, we, we don't know that they're here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can see this on Instagram uh, slash FBE, but... Oh, oh my, god. my god. Oh my god. They so show a picture of when Jake when he was younger <laughs> and then so, Benny and Jake such together. such a baby and now he's like an adult. Oh That's so crazy. Yeah, I really want to get Jake on the podcast. More like Jake and Marley on the podcast. But uh <laughs> but uh Jake when yeah, I went to see so, him, whoop. he was like saying it was blowing his mind of like the last all his memories of me is him doing this looking up at me <laughs> and now he's, he's way taller down than at me. you. <laughs> Cuz I'm a small Jew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Adam, a uh, question for you. Uh for um Seth on Instagram. Uh, what is going on with your band? When will we get new music? Wait, which Seth? Like Seth Mad Music oh, is what it's said. Oh, I thought it was like our Seth. No, it wasn't uh, our Seth. <laughs> not to take away from you, Seth. But um, so I, I'm in two bands right now. Uh, I'm in one with my brother, and we're like trying to play shows a lot more often. I'm not really in the writing process for that stuff, just because I'm more just like the fill-in drummer. But I'm like the the only fill-in drummer, you know. So I'm I'm their drummer. But it's like not my band, but at the same time it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the other band, like my my love child, my band is uh, uh, <laughs> plug plug name of band. I've I've spaced on the band name. It's um uh, it's the model youth. Yeah, love child would be a great one. No, it's the model youth. Um, 
and it's like pop punk music and uh my drummer is from here he's from mi and he's the best drummer i've ever met are you in the my singer life. yeah I, I, okay. I, I i'm the singer and i play bass in the band uh and then my guitar player i work with work with him and he's also a singer and he's the rhythm guitar so we just last practice on last thursday uh we hired or we not hired but we like got a lead guitarist nice um so i'm, I'm still so you're bringing the band's still forming it's, it's pretty much it's get. pretty much done yeah. like this, this lead guitarist though it's kind of, it's kind of a bummer because he doesn't actually want to be a part of the band he just wants to jam with us and write with us and all the stuff but not be a part of the band kind of like how you're the fellow drummer exactly yeah. <laughs> exactly he's he's me you didn't want to say band. it but you're like i don't really want to be the fellow drummer i want to do my own thing yeah, yeah exactly so he's got his own band but he's gonna help us out for a while which i'm pretty cool. stoked for because he shreds so now we can actually take our time and find like a really good lead guitarist uh so if anyone's in san diego and wants to be a lead guitarist for me and that's the full dream is that, that's that's what i want to do is, is be a touring musician and so yeah. uh we're actually writing songs we have four or five songs now uh and i i went to college for recording so i'm just doing all my recording at home and hopefully you guys can see an ep um by next year if not sooner wow um I, I'm, yeah. awesome i'm shooting for then and then we have a show on november 9th uh, that's the first show that this band is going to have. It's at a really, really small club called Diego's in Santa Ana. Um, but then after that, I'm just going to start being a booking mad man. Like I want to, I want to go to the house of blues. I want to go to the whiskey, the Roxy, the Troubadour, all these clubs in LA. Then there's also some clubs in San Diego called like, uh, the music box. And I want to go play there just because the venue looks so cool. Um, <laughs> And I just have like all these dreams of like, you know, or not dreams, but yeah, but dreams. I have all these daydreams of like kids just like crowd surfing and, and moshing <laughs> to my music, you know, just having a grand old time. I can't wait for it. I'm so excited. Like th th we've been, we've been in the works. This band has been in the works for like over a year. And, yeah. and now we're just coming to the point where we're ready to start playing shows and consistently playing shows and releasing music and just going. And I want to put the pedal to the metal and start touring and, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> in, in in all regards, I mean, I you hear it from Adam. We've known him for a long time. This has been his passion forever. And uh, but you know, the five percent support, 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 support yeah. as best you can. Yes, please. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. And whenever you guys get a chance, I, I know I've been saying it forever. I, I want to see you so you bad. Got, you guys got to find the show, especially like, with Santa Ana. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a little nice. far. A little far. You know, what? we'll we'll do. My mom was talking about booking like a, a, a big feature show at the Troubadour. Okay, or, well that's or the Roxy. The, okay, that's yeah, super that's close. Super close. Um, all of us would come. Yeah, we would all come. <laughs> that, that'd be, dude, that'd yeah. be so <laughs> sick. The venue gets filled and it's like actually just <laughs> just <reactors>. react, <laughs> just my family. You know, it's just yeah. you guys. That'd be super cool. But then, but like, there's only been like three or four reactors that have seen my band play. Yeah. Um, that have seen me play at all with any band like that I've been in. There's only like I think it's. Oh, who was it? Rumor came, I think. Um, I can't remember. Like three, only three people have seen me play, yeah. and it was it was during the weird cringy phase of one of the bands where I used to do the face makeup. Oh boy! Oh, yes. <laughs> and Alex judges you immediately. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, you had purple hair, okay? Okay, I know. <laughs> so Alex, I was a scene kid, so I can't say anything. So Alex. <laughs> underscore overboard on Twitter said, I don't have a question, but I love that we have the same spelling of our name. Aw, that's actually my stage name. Oh, no, you're just... You don't, I'm sorry. You're, you're, so you what's, guys what's don't the truth? know that. What's it's the truth? spelled A-L-E-X. Oh. Now you just broken oh, yeah. I'm so Alex sorry, Alex. <laughs> Legally change it to an I. Uh, J. Boo. Or not. Or not. <laughs> J. Boo on Twitter wants to know, how long have you had blonde hair? I thought it was black for a while. I literally have had blonde hair for like a month now. Um, I used to have blonde hair when I was first on the show with like purple and a bunch of other colors. But yeah, the, I... That's a sick phase. I just, yeah. Adam really it liked was, this. It was brown. Really it was brown. It. it was not black. It was brown for a while. And then yeah, red. I, I have had all black. different color you were, hairs. You have red. I remember it when it was dark brown. Yeah. I was like many, super short. And yeah. Like, how many yeah, different yeah. looks do you think you've had over React? Oh my God. I have like a new look like every year. So like every time I come on yeah. the show, I'm a different person. Yeah. So <laughs> You know, you, not to the same extreme, but you've, you've had different looks over the years too. <laughs> you know, I've, had, I've had the same. Not on purpose. Yeah. yeah I've had the same like <laughs> solid hair. Haircut, the, the 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 swoopy look since yeah. I was fifteen. But every once in a while, my hair just gets butchered. And then, <laughs> I, and my mom's always like, "You need to cut your hair before you go to react. That way, you look nice and clean." And then my hair gets butchered. Then then the next day, I have to film, and there's nothing I can do. So like, in one of the episodes, my hair is like like this, and I'm just like, God. 
why did I get my hair cut? And I, I know, and now I know, always get your hair cut right after you film. That uh-huh. way, you know, you're nice and comfortable with the way with with the way you look. Like an episode just came out like three or four days ago. <laughs> just like, oh and I God. and no, well, I was looking at my hair like that's a nice haircut. Right? Oh, <laughs> so you judge your own good. looks, dude. I do. I watch all my episodes, and I always watch to see how cringy I am, or to see if there's like anything wrong. And that's I know why. There's, that's why I never wanted to watch my own episodes because I never wanted to see how embarrassing I was dude, or like what I said. I cringe all the time. I'll be watching the episode and I'm just like, why did you say that? Why did you say that? <laughs> now or, I have to watch why them. Why did you have to get your hair cut then? <laughs> it's so you specific know? to the hair Dude, it is. I've seen every <laughs> bad hairstyle since I was 15 because of this show. It's so bad. And I'll watch a show. I'll watch an old, old episode and I'm just looking at my hair like, God Dang it. Why did you do that? <laughs> Alex, with your uh, changing looks you say every year, like, do you look back? Well, you already were kind of not happy about the purple hair look. Like, oh, yeah. Do you not like the looks you've had over the no, years? No, I or? love them. I love how diverse, like, my looks have been. It definitely defines who I am as a person, but it's definitely cringy looking at some hairstyles or stuff that I've gone through, and oh, boy. But it probably, it probably marks to some degree of uh, when you have that much of a change like helping you to remember of what you were going through or things oh, yeah. that were happening because if you do just have a similar style and whatever it's kind of like oh what was going on during that time period yeah, it's just no like idea. oh yeah it like kind of solidifies memories i can tell by like everything i wore like my hairstyle that was like oh i'm 18 there oh i'm yeah. 19 there oh no this is when i was 21 or like this is when i was 15 so it definitely like lets me like reminds me and takes me back to those days of yeah. like yeah, definitely. It takes me back good for or bad. sure. Yeah, good or bad. <laughs> All right, now some questions that you both can answer. So a uh, little on the serious side, Sayu on Twitter wants to know, how do you deal with hateful people online? Which is something we've talked about a lot on the podcast. There is a, a reality to being on this show and that you end up subjecting yourself to having an, having an opinion which means by its nature, someone's going to disagree with you and that could result in hate. And Which we've, we always would talk to you guys about even early on about like how important it is to still just give that opinion and you got to stand up for the people that are going to be right. out so there. So how do you deal with what you've been through growing up? No matter what, it comes it. back and um, dishes back at you, of course. Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has one. So, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just you have to ignore the hate. Honestly, you can't really take it to heart because if you can't, you have to be happy with who you are and what you say and and whatnot. So I just think that I honestly ignore it. I, if I get like DMS or anything, I'll just ignore them because I don't need that hate in my life. You know, I need to be a positive person. I can't like take that hate to like heart. Did you always feel that way? Or when you were 15, 16 going through it kind of in the earlier days, did you feel differently about it? No, I've always felt that way. Mm -hmm. I I just, I've never really, cause I don't care. It's like, who are you to say that I'm doing something wrong or like I'm a bad person because I said this or like just hating for no reason or just being a troll, you know? So I don't know. What about for you? Yeah, being a troll, speak Adam. Speaking of trolls. <laughs> <Speaking> of trolls. <laughs> um, I mean, modern, like nowadays I just don't care. You know, I, I, I don't really get hate comments on my page anymore just because I don't, I don't feed into it. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while there'll be something that'll like kind of hurt my feelings. I'm just like, yeah, delete. No, I don't have to deal with it. If someone mm. keeps persisting, then I'm just like, ah, block. I don't care about you. You know, you're just going to be a dickhead. Then I don't need you in my life. That's all there is to it. But when I was first starting, there was actually some kids in my school that bullied me for being on React. And I did not understand. I was like, why though? Like I'm on a cool YouTube channel that gets millions of views. How, what grounds do you have to make fun of me for? In fact, I'm like, I'm doing good with my life right now. And I didn't understand at all. Like why people made fun of me. And I talked to my mom uh, and a couple of my friends and they're like, they're just jealous. You know, they don't, you don't have to worry about what they're, what they're saying because it doesn't matter. And then that was one, like, that was when it, it clicked for me that I was just like, you know, I don't care. Right. I don't care what you guys have to say. I'm going to do what makes me happy and whatever that may be in, 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 in all aspects of my life. And I've sort of implemented, implemented that throughout my life is uh, the whole, I just don't care what anyone thinks. I'm going to do it if I like it. Yeah, same and for me. I would hope that, yeah, that that is the type of thing we've talked about it to the 5% a bunch even of just like hopefully this franchise and this show and uh like that goes into different territories of you know eating food or playing video <laughs> games or anything it's all based off of having opinions mm-hmm. and being proud of your opinion 
and not feeling like you should be afraid of stating your opinion. Uh, because if anything, in the world today, if we've learned through the election cycle, we learned through all this stuff, we actually all have to be very vocal and our open with each other and about our opinions. Our to talk to each other about our opinions is yeah. part of what divides us so much. And I think- We're afraid to stand up for our opinions and try to make each other understand why we have the opinions that we do. And yeah. being willing to have that conversation with one another through the comments, even if they're crazy on YouTube or whatever, but like everybody can have that and, you know, a lot of the episodes of Reactor built that way to be figuring out, even of knowing to have so a diverse group of opinions to show that, hey, we can all have the same opinions and we all get along and we all are on the same show together. And what's so bad about this? We all have opinions. And then it's interesting when people get so angry at various opinions. And it's just like, that's not what the show's about. Yeah. Like, even in the comments. So that's not what it's supposed to be about. But it, the show's gotten so huge. That it's, it's just, just kind of like, look, yeah, there's just every type of opinion is going to be in there. And and, co and me coming from a background of Reddit and 4chan, I've yep. seen the worst <laughs> of the worst of the internet. And I've, I've just know that a lot of these people just say things just to, just to be Get a on your dick nerves, about it, yeah. just to say the most controversial, hateful thing. Yes just to do it and like they don't to mean see the it. comments back yeah they don't yeah, mean it they great. don't they, they want to start and, and like stuff. the thing you have to realize is most of these people are are internet warriors they're keyboard warriors you know yeah. they're not going to be tough in front of you and you know so that that's the thing you have to realize is that they're probably a neckbeard anyway that's that's what i fedora think. yeah they got the milady you know they got the whole vibe going on you know everything <laughs> i don't need to tell you anything good. <laughs> okay so now uh, we have lisa on twitter and there's a few different questions helen also asked a similar question wanting to know like top three bands but lisa specifically when talking about you adam said i seem to like pretty much every band you get excited about and i'm living for it <laughs> uh, so top three bands for each of you you want to go? go first oh shoot I have to think of mine. Um, you well, could get more narrow. Someone wanted to know, like, your three favorite current pop punk bands, if that helps. I, I mean, I mean, it's like the whole emo genre. I'll just go with that because because talk about pop punk is so specific, you know. Um, I, yet literally yesterday, I just got into a band called Siler, uh, S Y L A R. Um, is that the one that Sid? Yes, had me listen that is to? the one. Sid, who works yeah. in social here, I think, told yeah, us I to listen, listen to them. To They're them like pretty, like bit. like yeah. metally, right? Very. It's yeah. it's yeah. it's got some screamo parts, but the the clean vocalist is re he's a really nice voice, mm -hmm. and like he can, he's got some pipes on him. You know, the cool thing is is he's he's a guitar player too, mm -hmm. so he's singing and shredding at the same time. So, so I just Siler one, Siler is one more. of them. <laughs> um, there is a band called Neck Deep, which I've been super into. Like I saw them at Warp Tour. Loved it. I caught yeah. myself. Yeah, they're so myself. close. <laughs> uh, I, I loved it. Uh, uh, they're, they're one of my favorite bands. They actually just dropped a new album um, like a like a month or two ago. Um, and so they they are just amazing. And they're starting to get really big now. Like they're selling out. Uh, neck deep. Yeah, neck deep. And number three. Uh, number three. I'm just going to throw it back uh, with one that can never fail in Green Day. Mm -hmm. I, I will always love Green Day. That was my first concert I ever went to that I picked. Um, and I've seen them like four or five times now, and my band is now covering a song of theirs. And, Ooh, and which one? Uh, we're doing "Welcome to Paradise." Nice. It's, it's got that. One. It's got that funky bass line in the middle of it. Yep. It's so yep. hard to play, but so much fun. It's it's not difficult as far as like technicality. It's just super hard because my hand hurts after a while, you know. <laughs> but it's so much fun. I love it. So yeah, Green Day, Neck Deep, and Siler. All right, Alex, you're up. All right, you guys are gonna hate me, but um, <laughs> we don't judge. We just okay, talked the, about the, it. I'm not gonna hate the, you. Wait, no, the comments will hate me. Okay, not maybe not you guys. That's the five percent. Do not leave these <laughs> types of comments. <laughs> um, okay, XXX Tentacion. Dude, he's so good. He has some really amazing lyrics, yeah. and he. I don't know. I just. I'm Did a, you see I'm our love. parents react episode to that? Uh, the the one where you like. Parents reacted to. We did an uh, episode on which him. one. He, we played three different songs. Oh, okay, right? I think yeah. I might have seen it. Yeah. Uh, of him, course, the parents didn't understand. Of course. <laughs> him, um, Baby Metal. I yeah. love oh, Baby Metal. And I know you guys, I oh. hate that you guys had They're them the on. I know, and I'm so jealous that you guys got to meet I them. I don't like them. Really? <laughs> what? Oh. You're crazy. You are crazy. They're so good. They I guess are. I guess they are I'll so adorable. Right another chance. You need to, there's so much going on, especially because the band is so good. The band is good. so good. Yeah. It's nuts. And it's not just them. Yeah, like it's not just the three girls. Mm -hmm. um, right, the band, but I, I think it to that there level. is to whatever degree. Like I, I don't know how into anime you are. Also, because be. there's a, there's an element of just Japanese culture and anime and kawaii and all this yes. stuff that like 
Benny and it's, I are also really, really into like anime and like you this whole idea. So you, <laughs> the idea that our favorite genre of music of metal that ended up inside of this like that we also were loving K-pop correct yeah, when we first yeah. found it, we were just like, how the hell did they perfectly just, put a, this together? There's a it's showmanship ridiculous. area to things, and Babe Metal right away kind of crossed into like this is beautiful, but it's hard to describe why. And then once you see them in concert, it's nuts. It's a yeah. whole other world. See, oh, I was yeah. under the impression that they were making fun of it. You know, because they have three oh. little no, they, girls. They oh, love the metal. metal. No, yeah. it's legit. They I'm love have to metal. Check it out. Now again, they're singing and their about crowds, cute things. Their crowds are insane. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the content of lyrics isn't a big thing. <laughs> yeah. for me. There's a band called Four Today that sings about Jesus. Oh, so, I love them. And they're like, you know, they're that kind of metal. I would so. say, with different context, listen to them again and pay attention to just how great this metal band is. And their performances. Them. Oh my incredible. god. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, Babe Metal so, Victory. Now. Yes, Babe Metal and Lund. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Mm. He's like super, no. I don't really like, I mean, I guess the two that I, they're very mainstream, but uh, Lund, he's like um kind of not that popular uh, rap artist, but it's super like melodic and super like uh, mellow and stuff. So I like really mellow rap. Mm. But then I also like 21 Savage, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm, I'm judging you. <laughs> That's the thing. For Rafi and myself, growing up, we were we were metalheads, but then kind of mellowed out into different sections of rock. But we've both, for the also most loved part, classic rock for like, yeah, of for course, our father of course, of course. and everything, yeah. like the Almond Brothers Band and, yeah. and like and Zeppelin, Almond obviously. Brothers, Almond, like A L L A, Almond, Almond Brothers Band, Southern Rock, good stuff. But we were so only into rock predominantly most of our life, and it wasn't until growing up and then later on that we started appreciating other music because we were like snobbish. Metal liking. I used to be that way too. Yeah. I used to be like, "You rap? Way. What is that? Go away if you like that." And, and I definitely, again, growing up, being around lots of creative people, it's all about the artistry to me. Oh, and yeah. when you really love what you do is what gets me off. When I end up seeing people, <laughs> it does. <laughs> like being around live music a lot and be like, "Oh man, they love what they do," and I really respect this, even though it's not a genre that I like. My yeah. music helped. I think yeah, I remember my that music. Project, the project yeah. of having characters that loved all different types of music. It kind mm. of became like the idea of identifying with those characters and why they like what they like that's where the and, idea of the show came from was that yeah. we were we were so aware of how much of music snobs we had been most of our life <laughs> and was like i want to make a show that that is going to play into that stereotype that right. everyone who listens to a genre is going to act stereotypically exactly like how people would stereotype <laughs> them and then show how that's not all there is to them, to them and right. that was almost like it's our fun. journey through realizing a you know if you like certain types of music it doesn't mean that you're like not as cool as me, which is what <laughs> yeah. I felt as which a teacher. That's how I felt know. too. Yeah. That's why we got along so well. We right? met you, Alex. You were like us. I know. You were nice and moody. I was like the and, little like, you brooding. guys, like yeah. just Very you and so. a little person. Very judgmental. <laughs> like no, like I I know best. Yes, that was <laughs> and totally what me. you wanted with your look. Where Rafa used to have spiky hair when yeah. he was in high school. I love that. And that, that was look. in your Bring your guys' time. Spiky hair was like super popular. And that's the thing when people think, oh, it was so punk, they don't realize no, it was a metal thing at a certain small period of time in the 90s spiked hair was a metal thing even yeah. in the early 2000s i remember kids in like elementary school had spiked hair like it was just a thing whatever i forget that it was in the jenko jeans episode or whatever yeah that, like, i was about to say those jenko even. jeans but just the idea like one that i always use where i talk to people about how fascinating culture is is actually something that you talked about in that episode at, was that you were like, it's crazy that like metal kids and punk kids and stuff and skaters were all wearing the baggiest possible, biggest jeans in the world. And yet now total reversal, the tightest, skinniest jeans. These, okay, these, and you were so surprised by that. You were like, I don't understand. Like, I, I that's don't. what all the punk skater and metal kids wore. Like, and yeah. you're like, what? I get, <laughs> I get the whole like Blink-182 baggy khaki shorts. I get that. I can see it totally <laughs> works. Jake Janko <laughs> jeans. I'm just like, what the heck was right. anybody I'm thinking? I'm going to stop us because we're going to run out of time. I okay, want to get okay. to a couple more questions. So one, I'm going to go. Robert doesn't even know I'm asking this, but I'm going to go to uh -oh. a... To a uh, to a, a question for me and Roth. Uh -oh. So someone wanted to know, uh, Kate in Canada on Twitter, what is your favorite thing about Benny and Rafi? <laughs> What? You guys what are, are Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't need to go further into what on. that means. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, that I was like my your answer. Musical taste. Yeah. Like, okay. You, we every time we we've talked specifically you and me, we always yeah. talk about you know metal music, which is awesome. But then. Oh God! There's so there's so many cool things. I love I love how you guys are just super like awesome to talk to. Yeah, like super honestly, personable. like I can talk to you guys about anything for like hours and just not even realize where time went. Like, and we've 
had that connection since I've been on the show, like from when I was 15 to now 21. So it's just like, and like I didn't see that so long. It's just like, it's a hug. That's just like, you, Oh my yeah. God, it's been so long. And, and then, it's not awkward or anything. It's not like no, weird. Like no, with some other people, gonna, you'd be like, Oh, okay. Hello. Right. Like, <laughs> it's also like, we're about to have an hour and a half conversation. Yeah. And it's not like scary. It's yeah. like, great. It's I like, hell yeah, I'm so excited. Like it is. I don't know. Like it's a thing that I think I attribute to our parents more than anything else in terms yeah. of them being very open people with a lot of, we had a lot of diversity coming through our very stringent religious household but had a lot of diversity anyway that uh i don't know there's just something about an openness of an, like yeah for people even though it's interesting because we talked a second about it but like we know best and other people <laughs> suck it's like i'm better than them when we were younger but like even back then even in high school when i was like i was voted as most unique uh, with my hair and all that, you know, whatever. Oh, and but it's like the jeans. Yeah, but it, it, it was an interesting thing where like I crossed over, even though I, I played baseball and I was this metal kid and I got along with like everybody of just like having conversations with them or even going to college. I was the type of person that like people would open up in the weirdest ways to me. And we, we and we again being away from each other experienced we had the these same different things. Experiences where separately. Like, yeah, like people like barely know just start like talking to me about like really intense shit. Like I, right. I, sometimes it was like intense shit or like also and it was so diverse because it was the you know they would talk to me about their life or whatever. But then it also because I was like the spiky haired like they think I'm you know off the edge. So they would <laughs> talk they would tell me stuff that they did and like I have some stories of like that people would just think cool like you must do this too <laughs> kill people. just because you, you have spiky thing. hair and like... it was just like after we're off I'll tell you two different stories uh, after uh, off of the podcast completely not safe for work but I know and, the story they were just like totally like we're just talking normal and they just would be like yo you know blah 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 just so, like normal conversation I'm just like, and I just sit there I'm like no you stop no. telling me this yeah. uh, anyway I go on and on but it is the things and that's why you see us have these pause moments just cause our lives have been very weird over <laughs> over this process you know we've of we've, we've talked all, about yeah. it before but like uh, sacrifice is a weird word to say but a lot of times interns will ask us like how do you make it and i'm like well there's our way and then there's other better ways maybe to do it but if you sacrifice having any life and we are willing to work harder than everybody else you have a better chance of making it and so like mm -hmm. we don't really since we moved to la over 10 years ago we don't really have friendships in a way that like most normal people do and our friendships really have become all of you uh, yeah. over time especially and living vicariously through yeah. seeing you guys you know overcome things that are happening in your life and 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 those types of things <laughs> but um, yeah, no, sure. uh but it, it is true and like and really it's become all of you guys and our staff that have kind of been our connection to the world over yeah. the last seven years and so uh hearing you guys say things like that to us we don't think about it in yeah. these ways and hearing oh yeah like you feel and every the same time way it, we every, do every yeah. time it happens even i just go like uh because there's such a there's such a we have aspirations and dreams for ourselves and, and the types of content we want to continue to make and such and we we're uh, such creatives it's kind of it's it's a curse of how many like we have hundreds of ideas that literally are just sitting around that i wish we could make and you just feel like you're not complete unless i'm going to make every single one of those ideas soon enough uh but you end up having the same situation of going like there's such a pursuit of trying to help the industry and trying to help all of our peers and trying to have a staff that we can employ and then continuing to figure out how we do more stuff with all of you guys and maybe you become a part of that too. That we have, it never kind of ends, but then you end up having moments with like you guys and all I can then think of is like, man, why don't I just make it maybe simpler? And like, why don't we just stop trying to have so much? And then why don't we make sure that every month we have a get together that we all get to see each other. We all hang out more often like whatever. More. Yeah. We don't get to, it's like, no, it's just not the pursuit feasible. is almost like we do we do all of this to hope that maybe all you guys can have that and we all just kill ourselves yeah, like yeah. you know but it, it but it always reminds me of just like man like and Who then t tonight I'll then be working till 4 a.m. and then I'll forget about it all yeah. and I'm back in my but you never know. Rut, we can figure know, out these things and going. who knows maybe there's ways to figure out even when not everyone can show up but it's like oh we're going to the movies this night who wants to come you know like can be maybe sick. those types of things <laughs> I like that you live that. so far at them too yeah. I just would go drive to the three hours I would drive, them, drive three hours to go see a new movie with you guys alright so were you, gonna say, were you gonna say something like it felt okay. like well yeah I was gonna say uh, you, had, you had said something about uh, uh, like caring about people and I was gonna say that's the, that's the other thing I really like about you guys uh, you and I, we, us three, have conversations all the time. But there was one thing, like when PewDiePie was going through stuff, you guys yeah. sent him an email saying, "Man, I hope you're okay." And I was like, "Dude, that's so cool. You don't have to do that. Like, that's so cool that you guys are willing to reach out and say, like, hey, 'Hey, I'm, I'm here to help.' And like the the kind and genuine people that you are is just is just awesome. And I really respect that. Thank you. 
Yeah. Notice me, PewDiePie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're way over. So I'm going to rush through some of the questions for the industry and answer them fast, as I said, okay. we can move on to something else. So I'll try not to chime in, or yeah. Um, the um, this is Don't okay. go to the big one then. No, uh, Kalen, but it's not our Kalen. Uh, wants to know: <laughs> Do you ever worry about doing like the celebrity music reactions, and that it's going to start influencing the reactor's authentic reactions to the topic in the first place because they know that they might be seen by the person that they're reacting to? So that's a general thing. I think everyone For at this point is aware yeah. that yeah. there's a good chance that anything that you're in is going to be seen by somebody else. And yeah. we all we can do is yes, we do worry about that. We just heavily encourage not to think about it and be yourselves. And I think that the majority of the cast is that way anyway, and that's what makes them on the show and why we keep using them on the show. And I think when you see the Linkin Park reaction back, where the teens reacted back to Mike Shinoda, you see that, where even there you have like Tori and Daniel, who you can see the embarrassment in their face, but then still saying, but I still feel that way, yeah. <laughs> uh, because that's kind of how all the reactors are, which is this good back and forth. But it definitely is something that I think does impact, and I think that some more than others care more about that, and mm -hmm. that's just kind of is why we have a eclectic group of people. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll skip the hardest I'm part about working about with your brother. Okay, yep. Yep. That's good. Betty, uh, good answer. Good I answer. agree. Yep. Right, Rob, uh, I don't know how you're ever going to do this, though. We might have to skip it. To do, I think demonetization has to move to next week, don't yeah, you think? I agree. Yeah, I okay, so That's what I meant by the long so, question. Yeah, yeah, so last week we mentioned how the biggest thing people were talking about around YouTube was the continued problems with the demonetization of videos Adpocalypse. on YouTube yeah. uh, in, in response to Adpocalypse, uh, yes. and that no one oh. had asked about it. And so this week I said, does anyone want to know? And a lot of people wanted to know. Yeah. So, But we ran out of time. Next week, demonetization. Talk yeah. here, and we'll which be is sure. great. We won't I have one it. question for you. Yes yeah. or no? It's super, super oh boy. quick. Okay. Have any of your videos? Well, our yes. videos. Okay, there you go. Demonetized. Oh yeah, sick. Yeah. So we uh, appeal various ones, like whatever. You, think about it. Shrek is love. YouTubers react to Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Of course, demonetized. Like these types of things. Like <laughs> all right. So we there's a lot. <laughs> no, totally. It's always the feeling. I think that there's uh, always a moment of going. Oh, you probably don't have any of those. It's just like no. There's a lot of video games with a lot of horror in it and gore and things like that. We tried to blur oh, out totally, from Outlast, yeah. and you can't blur. Sometimes to get out last. We'll get into this more, yeah. but like we definitely deal with it. Again, yeah. though, when you look at the nature of our content, it's not going to hit us as hard as a lot of other channels right. or the small channels that don't really have an uh, avenue to talk to YouTube, and that's right. kind of the biggest problem. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah. we're still going to have issues from time to time, and sometimes there we can also um, sometimes monetize things that you would be surprised about because we do have a commentary and educational value to some of the content that we're making, and depending right. on the nature of the episode, it's not so cut and dry, yeah. you can end up being like, no, this can be because it's a discussion and it's not just the content. It's complicated. We're Next, next week. week. Next week. Uh, so <laughs> recent release feedback, we'll just talk about, because we're out of time, Kids React to Madonna that came out uh, this yeah. past week. And my favorite comment from that, because the, I think the biggest comments that were coming in were the absolute surprise that kids don't know who Madonna is. And it, the, in a lot of ways, that's what's so fascinating about the di all the different types of things that happen on the shows. But one of the social experiments that you tend to see a lot of, especially when we do the generational kind of differences of kind of what the Do They Know It show is overall. But sometimes it happens with the original React where we're playing them Michael Jackson. And a lot of commenters were seeing this where they were going like, man, when Michael Jackson was on, every kid knows Michael Jackson. They know all these songs. And so they were waiting for Madonna because they were like, oh, I can't wait to see what they think of Madonna. I can tell you know growing up at the everything. height of Michael Jackson and Madonna's popularity, they're they're synonymous. Right. Like it was Michael yeah, Jackson and big. Madonna. They were like the biggest artists. So, so many people that grew up in that way were like, oh, I can't wait to see that all the kids are going to be singing along to the Madonna songs that they're totally good or whatever. And I think only one even had heard of the name Madonna. <laughs> That's incredible. That's I mean, how, how could they know, though? But they know, know Michael Jackson. Jackson. Every Michael Jackson oh, song they true. know. They, they, maybe like, Michael Jackson maybe and, and the Beatles and Queen and like they there's some people like that's what's so fascinating is what continues what gets passed on and that's because what we're so fascinated you, by that's why we do this when shows. you're with your grandparents and stuff like there's so many songs like when we're with our grandfather who's 90 93 or 94 four, like he sings songs from you know the freaking like 1930 yeah the, <laughs> the biggest song on the radio from then that for him he goes yeah everybody Everybody knew that song. Yeah. And so th we never do Do They Know at 30s. We thought about but it. we could. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> and then you like might like go, yeah. Sinatra what? And, but, and, but some of it, you're going to go, just like it's fascinating when it's like, oh, they know it from the Shrek credits. Dude, you we know would go, you cool. know that from the commercial of Tide? And that was a huge hit song in the 30s. You know, like that type of stuff. It'd be super cool to have kids and elders in one episode and doing Do They Know It from like... These are things, multi-generational episodes are things. are things we're trying to figure our way into. That'd be yeah. Dope. yeah. Or even explaining things, all that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. Yep. I know. 
too many so there's ideas. one in particular that like i've been wanting to do around dances which I, uh, uh, we're gonna work our way to yeah. that what teens and elders dances uh, you're you're in oh the you're, you're in you're in the vicinity of what that we're thinking would be about wonderful to see <laughs> uh, but it's it's i think it's only hypo- hypotheticals. I think that there's an element of uh, Michael Jackson dying, I think, ended up bringing him mm. very heavily back because there was also controversy surrounding him that made oh, people yeah. Yeah. shy away and that yeah. kind of went away at that time. A and, lot of parents uh, started actually showing. Yeah, because like, like, this is who Michael Jackson was. I think that kids, impacts yeah. it. I also think that there's an element that Madonna had all this popularity for so long and then it kind of did wane for a period of time all the way to now where she's not music. She hasn't had new music in a long time. And the songs themselves, when we were doing that, episode and you listen to it and compare to Michael Jackson there's a couple of Madonna songs that feel like this could be contemporary music but there's a lot of other ones that feel like well this would not play today mm-hmm. while Michael Jackson's songs dated. yeah are in this area where it still gets played on the radio and the music kind of still has a contemporary feel to it not yeah. every Michael Jackson song but a lot more than the Madonna song I don't know my if personal could, thought I, yeah. it, I never thought about Madonna that way but like that it is like some songs like Queen or the Beatles there's some things and some songs that become like they're played for absolutely forever and maybe or even green day yeah. where you mentioned something yeah, like green welcome day to paradise totally they'll still play people. that song on a on a, on a radio station yeah, yeah, playing yeah. the hits of today well i was i was just gonna say i always wonder looking at the bands that i listen to if any of them are gonna do that like is neck deep gonna be forever right. what about a day to remember are they gonna X-X-X be forever and Ex- yeah. i mean any rap music i can't imagine yeah. like my grandchildren are just gonna be like uh, I can't say it because it's bad words, but um, uh, I can't. I can't imagine they're going to be singing. You but know, you know but Eminem you. and things like that. Eminem like some, been, some is some timeless. Is already oh, becoming true. timeless fully. And that's the yeah. thing that is so interesting, being our age and seeing some of this. When Eminem first showed up, yeah. you could never. I could never <laughs> have believed what he would have become. And Green Day, very similarly, they showed up kind of with a with abandon after Woodstock '94, which kind of changed everything Dude, for that Green was Day. A sick show though. And never, uh, it, you don't know who it's going to be. Yep. Yeah, I talk about that. It's just like, I didn't know it yet. Yeah, don't it'll know be, it's going to be, be you. Me. But like the idea of who are going to be the Rolling Stones, who are going to be the who, who's going to literally be playing when they're 80. Yeah. yeah. Like Green Day will it be changes, one of those people. like every generation. It's just continuously, because that's a part of like who society is, is music is very, it's very influential. So it's just crazy to see. Yeah. That. And that's going to be the thing, guys. Another 30 years. You guys will be I about know. on Elders React. I'm watching XXX. That's right. <laughs> and, and it's only and he's 30 gonna be like, or so no. years away. But That's what's, it. What's, think about how funny that is, because recently we've done a couple of things, like Try Not to Sing for the Elders, and we also did a Guess That Song with the Elders, and that the idea would be that a Guess That Song pops on for Elders, and it's XXX to Tetsion, and you're buzzing in being like, I know that. That's look at me. Like, but you that's know, the thing. Generational some... changes. We do the Guess yes. That Song with the Elders now. It's still Frank Sinatra. But the elders, they guess that song with in 20 more years for the current parents on Parents React, and it's going to be all of this in 80s music. Time is fluid, guys. All right, so we have the shout outs. <laughs> to get a shout out, you have to use the, the hashtag that we uh, secretly put in. We have to come up with one. I feel like what's, what's a good hashtag to represent this episode, you oh, guys? Yeah. Any ideas? Oh, uh, maybe a combination of, of band favorites. Oh, okay, that works too. I was going like that, one word we? from one of yours. So green. Long Lund? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hashtag, hashtag green. Baby green. Baby green. Baby there we go. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> baby green. <laughs> Leave hashtag baby green one. to get a chance <laughs> for a shout out next week. So thank you so much again for listening. We're going to shout out a handful of you that used last week's hashtag hot Cheetos in the comments. So what a time. Thanks so much for listening. Elena Lurch. Uh, Anna Shaddix. Ashley Har- Hopper. Aurora Menendez. Bernice Chu. Big Z. Uh, Berta Maria. Brother, not brother. Christian R. Colin Cormier. Flavio Kobe. Cor- Grant Butler. <laughs> Gris 3112. Guevara 148. Jack Bond. Jalen Salon. Jason Quo. Joshua Richter. Joshua Ross Smith. K Hunter 98. Katja A. Kyle, I don't know. Living Abel. Mama T. Maureen O'Brien. <laughs> Mellow Cheesecake. Melon the Melon. Nathalie Smith. Neto Gislati. Nikki Grajek. Prakash D. Richard Logan. Rodrigo Ortiz. Rosie Gaga. Sapphire Gemstone. Sasha Beth. Shelly Safford. Uh, Sidik Chalidi. 
Chop, chop, beat. Simon James. Vintage Life. And Violet Conway. And as always, we also like to shout out countries that are listening to blow all of our minds of just how global we really are. So there's at least one person listening to this podcast from Australia. Brazil. Bulgaria. Canada. Chile. Colombia. Denmark. Germany. Honduras. Iceland. India. Indonesia. Israel. Japan. Marutania. Nepal. The Netherlands. Peru. Philippines. Poland. South Africa. Spain. And the USA. Michigan. uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. New Jersey. Georgia. Utah. Thank you all so much again for listening. We'll be back next week. Adam, Alex, thanks for six years of your life. Of course. (laughs) We owed it. (laughs) We have those six years. Here's to another 30. Oh, boy. Look, that's the whole thing I say. If we live that long. You'll be on Elders React. I I hope that Rafi and I are still alive, which we hopefully would be, because we would be in our 80s. And we can be there to interview again, but when you're elders. And imagine yeah. hanging out together when, like, you guys are in your 60s and we're in our late 70s and how we, cool that's going to be. Right, and we have, like, no teeth and we're just, like, barely I mean, si- sipping tea and it's, like, days. drooling. <laughs> what a fascinating thing to have. And hopefully, yeah. not even hopefully, I feel like we will be in touch yeah. into well, our old yes. age. I guarantee it. Yeah. We'll be on this forever. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to die on the show. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I know, really... I'm so cynical right now. Well, it, there's I a reality. It. It. <laughs> but, okay, uh, thanks again. We can talk forever but thanks for listening everybody we really appreciate all of you guys listening to this podcast you guys are like the core of the fan base the core of the core of the core means a lot that you're here every week listening for over an hour of all this conversation and getting to know these amazing people that we love so much and you get to love them a little bit more too so we'll see you next week and uh, see you next time on the fbe podcast